Hey, this is the supplemental instruction for IA 3.3 on manual wattage calculations. I'm doing this with a new tool I've never used before. So if my writing looks crazy, it's because I'm trying this out, which is just a pencil to write uh, so I can try to do it this way. Anyway, we're doing manual wattage calculations. Uh, the point of this is for us to understand how to pick the right power supply for our PC. This is just one way of doing it. Whether you do it with the manual calculations or per 3.4, the next lesson, you use an online power calculator. The whole point is you're trying to find the calculated load wattage of a PC. That's what the PC uses if all the things are being used at one time. Um, and if you calculate or get that load wattage, then any power supply above that will work. However, they don't come in all numbers. If you calculate the load wattage at 245, you're not going to find a uh, power supply that's 245. They generally come in 50 watt increments, which is why once we calculate or find the load wattage, we round up to the next 50 because that is the minimum power supply we would be able to find for a PC. And then we add another 50 to say, hey, recommended would be at least with the 50 watt buffer Anything above that is fine. We know from our previous discussions that um, if we get something that has more wattage, it actually uses less power. That's part of the um, whole thing with whether it's uh, bronze or, or gold or platinum level power supply. We saw in our previous, and it's in the, in the chapter book, what those look like and how much load it needs. But the big point is we want to find that recommended and find something at that or above um, without wasting a whole lot of money. So something that's 50 to, to 250 above is reasonable. Anything past that's not really reasonable. So I'm going to try to use Jamboard, which I haven't used before to do this one. We're going to look at this particular power or uh, PC right here, and I'm going to try to write on Jamboard. Now, this is the power supply wattage calculator that I have given you and you guys have looked at a number of different times. It's just a laundry list of parts to figure out what exactly something has. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of writing on here. I'm going to go and just check them off and then we'll open up the calculator to actually come up with the final thing. As we know, the motherboard is on everything. So we're going to use that. The next thing on this list is how many sticks of RAM does this PC have? So we're going to have to go down and take a look at it. And we're going to look at the specs. So there's the specs popped up. And we're going to see if it tells us how many sticks of memory it is. This has only got four. Oh, wait, that's a graphics. There we go. It's got eight gig of DDR4. And we said that in general, eight gig sticks are the least expensive. So if we were to find no other information, we would say it's got one stick of RAM. But like I told you in class, the next thing we're going to do is take a walk around the motherboard, taking a look at the inside and the pictures to see if we can tell if that is actually true. And I'm going to turn off Honey so we stop getting all these pop-ups. I'm not even sure how to do it. Oh, maybe I go to settings and say snooze for 24 hours. There we go. Okay, so I'm looking at this picture here, and I can see that it has two memory slots. And then only, oh, it has four memory slots, and only one of them has anything in it. While we're here at the pictures, we might as well finish our walk around to count fans. I see three fans on the front. We know we're going to need to know that later. There's one fan in the back. We do not count the CPU fan unless, um, or CPU cooling, unless um, it is water cooled. And this one is not because we can see the fan right there. So I'm going to just complete it. So we got four fans. Let's see if there's anything else in here. We see no other, no other expansion cards or anything on this. Just the one video card that comes with this. So let's go ahead and go back over to our thing. So we've got one stick of RAM. Let's see if I can write with this pen. Find my spot on here. There we go. So we've only got one. So here we've got 100, and we've got one, so it's five there. And then how many processors does this have? Let's see. Does it say right here on the top, 10th gen gaming desktop? Nope. So i got to go back down to the specs again, see if we can find it down here. It's a quad core, and if you don't know, quad means four. So it's a four-core processor. So 
down here, we know that that's going to add 100 on our chart. Next thing is graphics card. Now, this is a gaming one. And so it says it's a gaming desktop. We could, we're going to say it's a gaming power supply. However, I'm just going to let you know, 1650, I, it's the upper mid-range one. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use 250 because if it says it's a gaming PC and I don't say otherwise and tell you because we haven't had the chapter on video cards yet, you're going to use high end. So I didn't, if I didn't say it, you're going to use, and it says gaming, it's a high end. If it's integrated, we remember it's nothing. So there would be nothing for integrated. Or I might tell you it's a low end or mid range graphics card in the text. So next thing we've got, what kind of drives do we have down here? We're going to go down to storage. It's got one SSD, no hard drive, no optical drive. So when I go down here, all I've got is a solid state. So I'm going to add five there. And then we've got this other stuff. So PCI cards, there's no more of those. Cooling fans, there were four. Four times three is 12. So now we're going to calculate the load wattage of this system. I am not going to try to do it in my head. I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator all the time. So 100 plus 5 plus 100 plus 250 plus 5 plus 12 is 472. So we know our calculated. Let's see if I can get my pen. So calculated equals, wow, it's hard to do, 472 which means because they don't come in that increment that the minimum we're going to find for this is 500 and our recommended will be 550 or more. And like I said, really, I'm going to look for 550s, although I could go as much as maybe 250 over that. Anything past that, even if I added a new video card, I'd never use that much wattage. And I'm just really wasting my money at that point. So if I was looking at... 550 to 800 max wattage so that's we figured that out now let's go back to uh, this PC if I I might ask you hey what's the calculated um, I might ask you what's the minimum I might ask you what's the recommended or I might ask you is the power supply on this one meet recommended and I already saw it on here it says the power supply is a, where did I see? Oh, right there, 600 watt power supply. Now we don't know anymore. We don't know whether it's uh, gold rated, uh, platinum rated, nothing else, but we do know that this one will meet our recommended. In fact, it meets it very nicely, right? It's a 600 watt power supply with 550 recommended. That's, that's fantastic. So that's a review. We've already gone through this before of how to figure out. You just take your time, go through it, all, every PC is going to have these components from here to here. It's going to have one of those things in there. Um, every PC does not have a graphics card. In fact, we're going to look at one more here in just a second that doesn't have a graphics card at all. It's integrated, so we won't put any power in for the graphics card because it's already in this 100 watts for the motherboard. And it says up here includes basic CPU, fan, keyboard, mouse. Uh, and then what kind of drives do we have connected on there? And there's uh, the list of drives. And then anything else we see on our PC that might be pulling extra power. So let's take a look at another one. I'm going to clear this out. We'll look at a lower end PC. Okay, so let's get started with this one. This is a business desktop, uh, which by definition means that it probably doesn't have gaming stuff on it. It's a low-end desktop that you might get at home, and we're going to use the same chart on this one just to go through and figure this one out. So we know, again, that it's got a keyboard, I mean a, a motherboard, so we'll go ahead and put down the 100 on that if I can get the pen to work. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. So we got that 100. So the next thing is the memory. How much memory does it have? We're going to go down and go to specs. Looks like I'm already on it. Uh, and see what it says it has. I'm going all the way down here. Memory, it has one eight gig stick. Tells us right there that there's only one. We would look at the pictures if not, so we know that's a five over here on there. And then we've got our video, and I can see it right here, graphics interface, integrated video. That means there's no extra graphics card, so there's nothing I'm gonna put in from these numbers at all. They're not used whatsoever for integrated.
And then we've got our drives. It's got a 512 gig solid state drive. Uh, I don't see anything about an optical drive. We're going to take our walk around the photos to see if there's anything that we missed there. So here's our pictures. I've got no optical drive in front. I'm going to see very little on this. Let's see. Is that, that looks like it definitely has a rear case fan. That's kind of hard to see. We'll see if it gives us an inside picture to give us a little better one. Let's see. Only inside picture I've got. Let me go to the full screen here so we can see. So we... I'm looking around the top. There's no fans up here on top. I've got a fan in the back. And look, it said one stick. This picture's of two. We're going to stick with the fact that it said one because it said it in the text. This may be a more generic picture. It's got no extra cards or anything here. And that's where it would be confusing. But if the text says one, we're going to assume they just got a bad picture. But we are going to use this fan here on our fan calculation. So let's go back over here, take a look. So we've got one solid state drive for five, and we've got one fan for three, and that is gonna give us our calculated load wattage. So I'm gonna do 100 plus five, plus I forgot to put the CPU in there. How many cores does the CPU have? Um, let's see, quad core processor again. So it's got four. Maybe I said that? I can't remember. So let's go back over here and just write down our 100 for that and finish our calculator here. So we've got our 105 plus 100 plus 5 plus 3 equals 213. So we've got 213 as our load, which makes it 250 for our minimum. And our recommended is 300. And if the question was, does it meet the recommended on this one, I, yep, there we go, 400 watts, so it does meet the recommended power supply. That is your review on how to do the hand calculated ones. It's important you go through, look for the word core, look for the word integrated, or whether it's a gaming one, look for what kind of um, storage it has. Solid state drives use far less than hard disk drives do. Uh, and then take a walk around at those pictures and make sure there's nothing you missed. Now, even if you had missed the fan, it'd be 210. It'd still be 250 and 300. So depending on what the question was, close really does count in power supplies, right? So that's it. And hopefully you pass this one. Uh, these are not scrambled. It basically asks you calculated minimum recommended of two different PCs on the quiz.